Yo, what's good, man? MBS Central, MBS Universe. I'm your boy, Keo. I got my co-host with me, the bar god himself. What's going on? Yo, yo, what's good, man? <laughs> yeah, so man, uh, we here. Man, it seems like I haven't talked to you all week. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, and it's battle week, man. I be in the dungeon, man. I got two God. battles coming up this weekend. Uh, shout out to Fonz. Shout out to Cincinnati and Marco Mazi. Um, I got to go out there and go do that battle. Hurry up the next morning. Fly out. King of the Dot. My return. Three rounds. A lot of straight. So uh, I've just been, been in a dungeon, man. So yeah, you, yeah, you you got all your rounds prepared and and all that already. Yeah, man, I, that's why I've been just out the way. I just be, I've just been working, man, working. But like I said, man, we got infinite content, man. We this card is coming up like in yeah. uh, less than uh, forty eight hours. So. I saw, I I said I was like man where the hell Danny's at man we got to we got to put this blog out everybody's putting out the predictions I was like we got to we got to get one out the Fonz card he's battling Jay Mills they got a star studded lineup on that card also that actually goes down Yeah I, I seen that that card is crazy man Chess uh, on there Miss Hustles on there Yeah they got Casino back outside Don Marino you know just Shout out to um, Franz. Uh, I want to go through a couple matchups that's on here. Um, probably like two matchups that I want to talk about. Um, Queen Vixen versus Lady Caution, man. What's up? How you feel about yeah. that? Yeah, man, that, that's going to be a bar fest. Uh, absolutely. You know, Lady Caution been doing her thing. Queen Vixen, obviously, just still. I feel like she's still trying to get her respect in this game. But. This is gonna be one of them them fights where somebody's gonna come out and and and, and really showcase I'm the better rapper here. Mm. I'm the better rapper, so I, I definitely feel like that's gonna be one to watch for. And you know what I noticed though, man? Nobody defends Lady Caution as much as you do. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah, I yeah, just... because she 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 does she does great, and nobody talks about it. She she does her uh. She's outside often. She's dropping haymakers, and she don't really get no credit. And she got music. Oh, I yeah. See, I didn't even know that. Uh, uh, I know it was Queen's Vixen's birthday yesterday, so happy birthday to her. Yeah, yeah, um, happy birthday. Last time we seen her was against C3. I think they had Battle of the Night, but uh, it, it's Lady Caution, man. She's one of the best punchers. In female battle rap, man, it's hard going against her, man. And I think caution. I know that that drama happened with her and Eliza versus. She really wanted that battle, but I think caution, man. I think caution is gonna be really prepped and really prepared for this battle. Um, I'm I'm going with a uh, lady caution to win this battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely got lady caution. You know, but I, I do feel like we we about to see some uh, spectacular from Queen Vixen. It ain't feeling like she not gonna just lay down and let Caution win. So mm, we got uh the one of the crew, the new guys from the Crucible, a uh, Ghost, going against a uh, Young Cannon man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, like, shout out to Young Cannon. He's kind of like me, where. He's willing to fight anybody. Go go outside, give out give out shots to the the <laughs> newcomers, uh, the guys that are still like under the radar, you know. And this is an opportunity for Ghost to really showcase that that he belongs with the with the elites. Yeah, I heard Ghost is really good though, man. Um, but I'm going with the veteran Young Cannon in this battle. Um, casino and chess. I don't think people are talking about this battle enough. Uh, Casino is really under the radar. I've been vouching for him for a couple of years now. You can go through my tweets. I've been tweeting URL like, yo, put him in rotation, regular rotation. You know, Casino is so dope. Him, I like him, Kid Slay, a couple of these guys that talk that trap talk, and they do it in a very clever way. It's bar. Casino. <coughs> Casino's from the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, he's from Cincinnati, man, so... 
Um, uh, he's one of those guys that he got ridiculous bars, but then we also know what the demon chess does too. You know, chess, you know, when he's on his A game, he's very, very difficult to uh deal with. I think this is gonna be a real good battle. Okay. Um I chess has got has gotten, you know, a little bit better. Has gotten more clean in his rounds, um, you, you know. Trying to, I, I, I think eventually he'll be back on those big cards, like you know, cards like the URL and all that. Um, but I, I think this is definitely a good battle for Chess. I see him lately; he has been bugging out. Um, this is a huge opportunity for Casino. Um, I'm, I'm taking Chess in this battle, though. Um, I like Chess over Casino. Um, one of the new guys that the camp and Fawn's been pushing, man, cash money, uh, and he's going to be going against EFB Zone, Miss Hustle. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's going to be a crazy battle right there, too. A lot of high energy. Uh, shout out to Fonz. Like I said, this whole card, this whole card is crazy. It's, it's one of their annual big, big events. So this is Mid Midwest Legacy 3. I'm I'm glad to be a part of this and be able to showcase my my skill and I'm I definitely want people to know like I'm showing up with bars like I mean I don't really gotta explain that at this point in my career people don't know that by now then they probably just never really watched the Danny battle but it's not like okay I got uh you know King of the Dot the next day so. I'm just going to come show up light here and just really focus on Elijah Straight. No, I'm really coming to showcase why I'm the best bar spitter in the business. So, but my opponent, I I was super impressed with Marco Mazi the first time I saw him on Gates of the Garden. I said, yo, this dude is ridiculous with these punchlines. And so that's why Vines booked it. He want to see a punch fest. And so this is what we're going to get Saturday night. Okay, um, the main event, man. Uh, Fonz versus Jay Mills, man. You know, I'm happy to see. Uh, I'm happy to see Fonz get a, another legend on his on his resume because Jay Mills is highly respectable. I don't even have a Jay Mills battle, so to see Fonz get this on his own platform, it just lets you know, like you know, he he takes care of business. He's elevating in the culture. Uh, he don't really gotta wait on nobody to do nothing for him. Like he's gonna still make sure he. He eat right, you know what I mean? And Jay Mills, shout out to him because he came outside for Geechee Gotti. He came outside for what? Like he he's like, I want all the newest, youngest killers y'all got. Win, lose, or draw. I'm, I'm gonna go in there and bang it out. So, you know, he's a he's a real battle rap MC. I, I respect Jay Mills a lot, man. Um, however, beating Fonz <laughs> on his own league in Cleveland, not going to happen. I just feel like, I feel like Jay Mill, all he got to do is just show up and just spit some dope shit and, and people going to respect it. But I feel like Jay, uh, I feel like Fonz is coming to knock his head off for real though. Like, I ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I feel like Fonz is going to do also. Fonz is having a, a really good year. It's a quiet year that people are not talking about. Um, so, you know, I, I think Fonz, you know, definitely want to make some noise this week and in Battle Rap Week and with uh, these events going on right now. Jay Mills has gotten better the more he has battled. Um, but, you know, home field, main event, hometown Fonz, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm taking I'm taking Fonz, man. The punches is just going to be crazy, man. Yeah, if, I mean that's safe money, man. If you had, if you if you had the casino and you put money down on this battle, that's the safe bet is to go with Fonz at home. Fonz at home, yeah. like come on, man. The moment, the moment Fonz says, they said all I do is punch. Ah, <laughs> yeah, the crowd gonna go crazy. He's he's about to put on a show. He's gonna put on a show because it's it's his car. It's his car. It's his hometown. Whoa. What, he what not is, gonna go in there and play with Jay Mills, man. Last question to you: What 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 is it like battling somebody like Fonz? Yo, you got to just be able to just deal with the heavy haymakers and be able to dish it back out. 
Because, you know, with Fonz, it's a punch fest. So you just got to go in there and throw as many punches as you possibly can. You know, or uh, just or or at least try another tactic to get around his punch in the punching ability. Because yeah. a lot of people can't punch with Fonz. Like, so you're probably gonna lose the, the battle even before <laughs> you step in the ring because you're already outgunned. So there's other strategies that you can use to you know battle punchers and you know and Fonz has been gone up against the best punchers, man, from the Danny Myers to Rum Nitty. Uh, you know, he's 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 about he we seen him battle Calico, we seen him battle Charlie Clips. Um his resume is, is already solidified. He ain't really got nothing else to prove as far as and, and proving he's he, one of the best he punchers. Had, he had one of his biggest wins of his career going against Gichi Gotti. Oh, no. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He went crazy versus Geechee, man. Mm. That was a good battle on no, man. That was that was a good ass back and forth. Well, Midwest Legacy 3 goes down this Saturday. It'll be available on Rap Grid August 24th. Tickets still be available. Stage passes also, man. 3 p.m. Be there or be yeah, just make sure you don't be late, man. You're gonna miss a good event. But with that being said, man. We are going to the card that everybody's talking about. Probably the card of the year. King of the Dot never misses on this one. So shout out to KOTD. Yeah, shout out, my uh, man. Uh, shout out to TBL in Kenny, collaboration to bring this bring this card Nelly, to life. Organic, all of that, man. So um, yeah. Um, from what you see on paper on this card from uh, day one. And day two, man, what would you give this card? Uh, I mean, really, I don't know what's missing. I don't, I really don't know what could be missing. So I think honestly, this is like a 10. It's uh, you, when you look at the, no. when you look at Tay Rock and Big K as a main event, then you got Twerk and Pass. You got Sharon, 40 bars. You got Geechee and Mark. It's like, what, Shy what, don't, Rack what is there? You got, you have the, yeah, you got the female battle. So it's like, what is missing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's missing? What could you say? What could you what could you criticize this car to be like? Yeah, real sick and Charlie Clips. Oh, uh, and I know real sick is locked in, man. I know he's locked. He's paid more than the Jesus. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like when you when you just look time. at it, when you just look at it, you just be like, Yeah, that this is a 10 this car. Is, this is the first time that we've done our predictions since the two years we've been doing this show. That we actually gave a card a ten. Oh paper. yes, I, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to uh, TBL King of the Dot. This is the mm. first time we've given a card a perfect ten on paper. Yeah, now, right. now, how the battles come out, and you know, that's a whole different story. Some could be lackluster. There could be, you know, bad battles or whatever. But at least from going into this, and you look at these matchups on both days. They they don't have a miss on here, and even the uh, even the people that you may not be familiar with, like Lefty and a uh, stretch, these guys are also very very good MCs, and I, I've I've watched them work live. So in case y'all uh, wondering, they have the bar guy stamp of approval. Mm, Every battle is going to be fired. Well, speaking of stretch, let's go to the bottom of the card. Day one. The bottom of the card, we got Stretch versus GK. I'll let you speak on this more because I'm not too familiar with this. I, you know, I'm not familiar with GK that much. I don't think so, like off the top of my mind. But I know Stretch is is a very he, – he, I was just on a uh, show with him yesterday. Um, he said he's coming to do crazy multi-syllable rhyme patterns, um, just a lot of dope rapping and mixed in with the, with the crazy punches. So – I don't know how what GK um, is capable of. I don't know what he's gonna do, so I can't really call that battle. But just off me knowing stretch, I'm going to pick stretch right right now. Oh. Like that, it might not be fair because he's be like, well, how could you pick somebody and you don't know what the other guys do? Because I've seen what stretch can do. Okay, now, uh, let's GK just be out there rapping like Rum Nitty or some shit. I don't know nah. what, what's gonna happen. I could be surprised and shocked. All right, let's go to the next battle. We got E. Pharaoh versus Pep. Pepe and E. Pharaoh, man. E. Pharaoh's a favorite over there. He does so well. Uh, 
Oh, well, on Pepe is one of the new from one of the new guys from King of the Toronto, Dark. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Pepe, Pepe's, Pepe's been on the last couple of cars that they had. No, he's been working. He's been working. Yeah. I, I, I just was with him in um Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, he got crazy with uh my man Empty Money. They had battle tonight. Uh, Pepe is fire. I, I like, Pepe. I like E. Farrell, but I got, I got Pepe, man. All right, yeah, yeah, I'm going with Pepe also. All right, next battle, man. This is going to be an interesting one. Excel versus Chef Trez. Yo, man, we got you know two, <laughs> two, two respected veterans, two respected pins. This is Excel's. This is his car. Like this, is his hometown. Like I think from Brockton. You're like this, what he do? This is his area. But Chef Trez also know how to get in those those arenas. And and get the energy on his side with his delivery, with his performance, with the rebuttals. He know how to change the, the momentum of a battle. Excel just understands assignments. So this one's definitely tough to call. Uh, you know, Excel's at home. Chef Trez got the, the, the ability. And people, and I don't want to overemphasize the rebuttals because people will be like, well, see, that's the only reason you got Tre Trez winning because he can rebuttal. No, Trez can rap. Like people, like stop, stop sleeping on the fact that Chef Trez has bars. He he only do the rebuttal because the his opponent said something that he might have felt like needed to be rebuttal. But he don't show up with just rebuttal. He shows up with three rounds that he wrote down and memorized, yeah. and that this is and the three of them things. Fight. The the rebuttals are just extra. That's just if he felt like he yeah, if he in a I'm jam crazy. if he's in a pinch, and it's also. It's one of his calling cards. There's a few people out there that I'm not going to pick that I'll go against Chef Trez. And this battle, I'm just not going against Chef Trez. Chef Trez, he's been on his little winning streak also. He's been winning also and been beating you know, people convincingly, though, on a major card like this, man, I'm I'm taking Chef Trez over XL. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it that. I, I, I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take Trez as well. I just feel like it'll I, I even though I don't feel like he has to rely on the rebuttals, I feel like that could be the difference. Now will I excel uh, rebuttal, and I know he can. If he rebuttals with Chef Trez, this battle could go either way. So I think I think I don't think this battle is gonna be close. I got Trez clear, or it would be no, nah, it can't be, it's not gonna be a clear because. You got to think, XL is one of the best pins in battle rap, and he's at home. Like, this is, like I said, this is mass. He, he was on the first mass versus me. We was on the very first massacre car. Like, this is XL's staple. He not going to go in there and just let Trez come in there and beat him up, and he don't fight back. Like, he's going to be in there going crazy. And Chef Trez is a fan favorite, and I, for me, I just don't, if you look at, from last year dating to today, Chef Trez have one of the best win loss records in battle rap. Oh right yeah, now. he ain't been losing. Yeah, he ain't been losing. And that's man. why I got Trez, man. Um, all right, let's move on over to the next battle. It just gets better. Real deal versus Mike P. Oh, that's heavy. That's that's heavy. Speaking because... of a King of the Dot fan favorite. That's real deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Real deal was so smart. And so was Mike P. I think from a technical standpoint, Mike P might be the better rapper by a slight margin because he goes into these these pockets and these rhyme patterns that, that are just really dope as hell. But as far as substance and just outwitting, outsmarting your opponent, I, I got real deal winning this battle to one in a good battle. You know what? I actually have real deal winning this battle also 2-1. But I think this will be a close battle, though, man. Yeah, it's for just, sure. It's just, I don't know what it is, though. With real deal, is on the King of the Dap platform. I, I, it's just the energy is just different. And I know Mike P has been doing well, you know, since, you know, the, his last couple of battles. But I think real deal, he has this aura when it comes to King and the Dot, former KOTD champion, man, um, I I'm taking real deal in this battle. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next one. We got the Soros versus A Ward. 
Man, again. You know what? I I feel like the 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 source that battle kid twist and the way he put the I, and I and I still stand by this that movies with a twist scheme was the greatest scheme that I ever heard ever. Yeah, he made, I think he that's made, the I think that's the goat scheme. He made, he made me the source made me eat my words the last time we picked the battle because. I was like, he has no chance against Hollow the Dawn. That next thing you know, the Swords ends up kicking his ass. Yeah, yeah, man. Like the Swords <laughs> is a legend. Um, but again, again, A Ward so relentless with the attack, so smart. I don't think A Ward gets enough credit for how good good he is with angles. Well, I know we always again similar to Chef Trez, we'll bring up the the rebuttals and all that stuff. Which is dope. Ain't nothing wrong with being a, one of the best rebuttalers in the world because he can freestyle. Uh, but his his writing is is very very formidable. Uh, damn, and both of them are homeboys. I don't I don't want to just. Oh man, because <laughs> because you when you pick against the source, man, it's like all right, yeah, I, I got such and such over the source. The source go in there and win. He's one of those battle yeah, rappers that man, that's going like, to find it, a way to win the battle. I, I don't want to do it again, man, but <laughs> I got to do it again. I'm taking a ward in this battle, man. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, nope. I got I got a ward too, man. But, but I'm, I just I just got this feeling that sometimes. The, you know the source. We we, we we're gonna talk about it later, but I think this could turn out to be one of the best battles of the night, man. Yeah, that's a that's a very anticipated battle, I don't uh, know, man. You might you might you might have to do some negotiations because there's a there's a lot of people on this card that 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 you might want smoke with on this card that you haven't battled yet. So <laughs> so uh, I'm outside, man. <laughs> Tell them to line it up. All of them, all of them, get in line. Well, you got a couple announcements coming up, so stay tuned. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Just tell them to get in line, man. Um, what else we got on this on this uh, card? Sharon, Mister, he's Mister King of the Dot, in my opinion. Yeah, he's going against forty bars, man. Making her debut, you know that. That's you know, yikes! A salute to forty bars, and, and salute to her schedule. If you look at what she's got lined up this whole year, and she had me, but, but you know, unfortunately, the, the you know the hackers messed the plane up. She couldn't get to Utah, but she had Danny Myers. She got uh, New Jersey twerk, right? She just battled with First Lady Flames. First Lady Flames. You're talking about Sharon, one of the most. She's battling Av on prom night. Av, you know, her schedule is unbelievable. It's my, it might it might be the toughest schedule of her entire career. I don't I can't if you could just show me another year where she had uh, tougher fights hey, back to back. Hey, I, I don't know if we hey, could isn't you know what I mean isn't the parallel universe real? Because we did a blog about this and you were mentioning about 40. <laughs> yeah, yo. I, I'll tell you this right now. If 40 comes clean every single battle and she don't even need to win it there's no doubt in my mind that she's gonna win Wody. yeah and, she I, win and it. I know she and I know a lot of people don't like that but you look at what she the schedule that she has you all she her, gotta do is complete her assignments you look you at got, the, when you got the you got the assignments just complete them like you said if she just show up clean get through these rounds She's very, knows. very and good who, shot of winning, Wody. And who, who, and who knows? That we still have that rescheduled battle with you and yeah, you yeah, and yeah. 40. Me and Forty, yeah, we still ain't we we not just so canceling at, our battle. We still we're still so going to battle. At, so. so you look at that resume: First Lady Flames, Av, New Jersey Tour, that's, that's, Sharon, that's, that's, that's Danny suicide. Myers. She on a suicide run, man. She just feel it's, like, hey, if, if I'm going out, I'm going out with a bang. If this is my last act of year, and you know, I'm and, going out in a blaze of glory. From, Shout out to 40 bars. And from what from what I know, that some people that I'm close to from Team 40, 
they saying she got a couple more announcements dropping soon that's gonna shake shit up. So oh, well, she ain't done yet. But, okay, but, shout out but, go but, hey, go go ahead, sure. As far as this battle goes, I'm taking Sharon in this battle, man. That's I cannot just, pick against Sharon, bro. You that's know, Mr. Massacre, Mr. King of the Dot. Like Sharon, <laughs> like Sharon knows how to he knows how to interact with the crowd and the crowd fucks with him, especially with a King of the Dot crowd. I know 40 is going to be at home at Boston, Massachusetts, but I just think what the, the, when, the, when you're in that King of the Dot platform, that shit belongs to Sharon. And until somebody beats him and takes that from him, I, I just don't see Sharon losing this one. I think 40 is going to come clean in this battle. I think the huge difference is it's going to be the rebuttals, man, and 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 Sharon punching, man. Like Sharon is one of the most underrated. Yeah, punchers. yeah, facts. That that's a fact. Uh, we talked about that when I dropped uh, the uh, the top punches before, list, man. Before the, you know, she she could punch also. I'm not giving her out because I'm gonna say this. I'm not giving her out, as in she don't gotta. Like, but what I am gonna say, I don't feel like she has to win this battle. I feel like all she got to do is show up and just be great. That's it. You know, yeah, if she yeah. wins the battle and, I, and and listen, if she wins the battle and let's say she wins the battle, cause I don't, I don't see it, but it can happen. She can win. If she wins, that's even better. But a loss to Sharon don't hurt. It's not going to hurt nothing. If you lose in a good fight, it don't hurt. Nothing. If you get beat, the, if you get beat the heck up, if you choke, if you if you choke, he freestyles rebuttals that, and then it just look bad. Yeah, that hurts. But if you get uh, through your three rounds and and you get you say all your shit, it's you know you that's your job is done. That's it. Your job uh, is done. You don't have to beat your own. Like, uh, hold on, we talk about a forties Wody run. That's Sharon, what I'm saying. I don't Sharon, feel like you don't because you don't got to be undefeated to win Wody. Yeah, but Sharon is also, you know, he's trying to crack the top five in champion of the year. So well, I, well he's putting in the work to do it. He's put in enough work this year to, to be talked about. So I battle, feel like he, he has a battle of the year nomination with some guy named Danny Myers, also. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shout out to uh Arthur and the, the, the rebirth card. You dub yeah. me and Sharon went crazy. So who you got? Who you got in this battle though? Sharon. You got I got Sharon. I got your own also. Yeah. Damn, you know what's crazy? We actually agreed. We have agreed on every single battle that we picked so far. One, two, three, four, five battles. We all agreed on it. Let's all right. The next one, man. Um, Pass versus New Jersey twerk. Damn, dog. You know, that this is the boom. This is probably the one that I want to see the most, be other than maybe John John and Frack, Big K and Tay Rock, obviously. But uh, this is the one I want to see because this is for the rappers. This is for the rappers. This ain't no, it ain't no drama and, and niggas. You can't really, ain't no dirt on past. You can't bring up nothing on him. Like, like twerk got to go in there and rap, and that's something he does very well. Past is obviously one of the best battle rappers. We ever seen as far as the, the the rhymes and the the pockets, the cadence, the flow. Pass is one of the best ever. So twerk understands what he must do. Uh, he's the king of the haymakers. <laughs> he's the king. Of, he's the haymaker king. And being on king of the dot, the reactions he's going to be getting might be monumental. However, pass has been in all these situations before. This is the one for the rappers, man. Um. You know, it, twerk just gotta show up and 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 just come correct, man. He's gotta be correct. That's it. And he could win his battle. He could win his battle with his star powers. Or, um, but Pat, I don't, I don't I, it, do. If you're battling twerk, do you need something else other than just you can you can out rap him? And that it sounds crazy when we're talking about a rap battle because it. Yes, rapping is supposed to be the number one thing we're looking at in a rap battle, but then there's other nuanced, little small intangibles like showmanship, performance, crowd control, delivery. All those things take take play as well 
Does Pass need to do something else other than just out rap, out rhyme New Jersey twerk uh, to win? I think I think what he needs to do, I think he needs to match twerk's energy. Um like he 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 need to match that energy. I think pass shouldn't change anything that he does as long just as he matches, there and keep keep the energy. Yeah, yeah, as long as he matches his energy every single round, I think pass has a chance because a lot of people felt like Jazz didn't have a chance against Twerk, but we seen a different side of Jazz when they battled because Jazz was actually matching his energy. Like, yo. Yeah, yeah, she um, did. She but did. But this battle, though, man, um, Twerk has not had a huge battle in quite some time. The last time we seen him on a major card, which was on the URL, he choked against T-Top. And next thing you know, T-Top started going on his run. Um, and I think this is an important battle for Twerk because Pass is a legend, man. Pass is one of the best in the West Coast. Like, you can't mention battle rap in the West Coast without Pass. Like, you know, who's you know, who's one of who's one of uh, people uh, considered Pass one of his favorite battle rappers, Sue Surf, man. Sue Surf always gives Pass his flowers, man. Like, Surf fucks with... You respect him. People, everybody respects Pass, man. He's one of the most respected but, battle MCs in the culture. But as of right now, man, I'm picking New Jersey Twerk in this battle. Twerk is, is uh... Twerk is a, uh, like I said, he's a walking haymaker. Yeah, it, like... It's, it's, he, it's, it's, it's he, very... He I is, don't know, man. It's tough. Like if you you're in front of Twerk, he knows how to he knows how to entertain a crowd. He knows how to make his opponent. But I don't know. You can't make Pass look like you can't make him look minuscule. You can't because Pass is so respected. He got his his legacy. You can't make like you can't make it look like you're not supposed to be in here with me. You can't Twerk can't make twerk, it look like Twerk is just you. What, what are you doing? You're a little you're a little boy compared to me. Like no Pass is. He very respected in, in many ways. I'm gonna just say that. I'll leave twerk, it there. Twerk but, is just too electrifying to me, though. Like, yeah, when you look at the electricity that twerk bring, twerk brings to the to the ring, it's very hard to match that. It's very it, few MCs in the culture that can match his his energy, his electricity. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Man. The momentum it's, of the battle really quick, though. Just it's, off yeah, bar. facts. It's pit style. It's pit style. So we listening to the bars, man. I feel like I feel like the people at home. I feel like this. I feel like in the building, Twerk probably win this battle. I feel like if the people are watching it at, at home on the pay per view and they just listen to the raps, they might go with. They might have Pass winning this battle, bro. So you got Pass. I got Twerk in the building. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I got I got Twerk winning, man. But I think on playback, once 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 all the the hysteria and the pandemonium dies down, and you just start comparing the raps and the bars. I don't know, man. Oh, passes, passes, main. incredible, bro. <laughs> Co main event: Chilla Jones versus T Rex. Chilla, bro. It, I mean, no disrespect to T Rex, but when you when you talk about Mister Mass, Boss Town, when you talk about like the like. Bro, Chella is that guy out there, and I and, and forget about his status in that area. Forget about his status. Let's just go to the raps. Rex is, is gonna give us that nostalgic Rex. He's gonna give us those 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 dope rhyme, those dope stories, the gun bars, the energy, slamming the hat on the ground. However, when all the theatrics and all the smoke and mirror clear up. Chilla is right there with a a pen that's that's glowing in the dark. Like he got a glow in the dark pen that is just like I I can open up a portal with this motherfucker. Like Doctor Strange, he does a little the little shit and a portal opens. This is what Chilla be doing with them them rhymes and those those concepts and the schemes and is this is he got too many weapons? He had yeah, he got man. too many weapons. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like I, I feel like Rex can. Advantage. He just got too many weapons, bro. I got chiller, man. Kind of clear. Yeah. Actually. The last last couple of battles of T Rex, I seen like flashes of the old. Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. You that, that's what I mean. That's a fact. But I agree, hundred percent. 
but I haven't seen the a full, a full, yeah, yeah. Like you'll get you you'll get flashes of the the greatness, but and, not three full rounds. And this crowd, they are here, here to hear here for the raps. They here for the raps, bro. And um, <laughs> they're I here think, for the raps. <laughs> and I think Chilla it is gonna remind everybody that like, yo, I'm still one of them. He won the damn nigga. He won the king of the dot chain, then went to URL and won the, the URL Cody. Well, I don't want to say it's a URL belt, but it, 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 it for the for the most part, they that's what they look at it as. He won champion of the year and the king of the dot chain for a reason. Yeah. So leave Chilla alone, bro. Like let's stop. Yeah. Y'all can say he's boring, you know. I don't like his style, I don't like how he raps. He, he he's winning championships with this shit. He ain't gonna be boring Saturday. I could guarantee you that. <laughs> but because uh, he know the assignment, you know he got to turn up on Rex because Rex yeah. gonna be in there, you know, on ten at least for one round. All right, let's go to the main event for day one. Your good buddy from EFB, Geechee Gotti versus Marv One. I haven't even. I I need to call Geechee as a matter of fact to to, to spar. I gotta see. You know what I'm saying? Where he at with it? <laughs> but. That that that's a good battle, bro. That's that's t- I can't go against EFB. I'm not going against squad. I I will say this though, as long as Geechee is uh, is at a at a, uh, a nine at least, you gotta be at a nine or ten for for Marv one because Marv y'all be playing with Marvin. He be showing y'all and he'll catch your ass in there. You you brought you brought a half ass. Performance and he's gonna smoke you. Don't play with Marv One. Uh, he's a legend, been around two de- two decades plus for a reason. Um, Geechee, Geechee does the he 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 pulls up and does the job every time. Yeah. Every time, Geechee, you know, Geechee, Geechee, no matter <clears throat> what it, the situation is, Geechee makes it look so easy though, man. Like, like it's like he's already mastered this already, and. Who, just, well, who you got? I got I'm taking Geechee Gotti, man. Geechee uh, Gotti, then that's it. I got Geechee, you got Geechee. We damn we agreed on every battle. Like that's like crazy. the ba- like the battle, the battle he had against when we last seen them on on the KOTD card. He made it look so easy. I'm like, damn, Geechee just kicking his ass right now. Um and, and well, I, well that was, but that was versus uh Hollahan, right? Yeah. I can't you can't really count that battle because Hollahan was all over the place that battle. He didn't know what the hell he was talking about. He didn't know, he didn't know what he was talking about. So but that I, was kind of a layup. That was like a it was like here, just take this free win. So I ain't gonna count I, that I think, one. I think Geechee, you be talking about weapons. Geechee just has more weapons and more artillery. Yeah, he could do so much. He can ain't can freestyle, he can rebuttal. Um, he could get into the street bags, street stories, punchlines. He could get into jokes. Yeah, it's Gigi, too many weapons. Gigi is just <laughs> it, 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 it's hard to match up against Gigi, man. There's only a few that can match up with Gigi. If you're talking about skill set and the, the attributes you have as an overall battle rapper. And I think Gigi is one of them, man. And I think Marv is gonna have to do more. Than just rap to Geechee in this one, because yeah, that's yeah. Like at the end of the day, these are both MCs. What well, Geechee has both MCs man, at the end of the day, what Geechee has is what I call believability. Like I believe everything Geechee says in the back. Yeah, he's got the aura, but then yeah. Mark got the cool swag aura. Where it's like he Mark, like Geechee, the guy that's kicks in the door with the shotgun, like everybody lay the fuck down. Marv is the guy that just make the phone call. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go, go, go do that. Go, go take care of that for me. He hang up. He's that. So he not the, he, you know what it is? Marv don't, don't give you the aura of he's going to kick down your door and, 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 and do all that. But he, I feel like really as the respect level he commands, he's the guy that I make the plays. I make the call. I make the call. Geechee go do the work. Like he's the mob boss 
aura mm-hmm. where Geechee is the, the 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 criminal thug that's finna go do all the shit he's rapping about. So that's why the di- the difference in believability is there is because Marv kind of played a cut. But when he do get into that gangster Detroit street talk, it be so subtle that you got to be listening and you got to be a street guy to catch on to what he's saying. And then you'll understand like, oh, yeah, he one of them. Okay, he's one of them. He's not over the top like Geechee is. Yeah, I got I got Geechee, man. Two one in this battle. Um, all right, let's move on over to day two, man. Day two is um the, the events just gets better. Um, we got start at the bottom of the card. I, I will let you speak on this battle. We got lefty versus two sabe. Yeah, fire, fire, right, fire. Uh, I think left. Tusabe might be uh, Puerto Rican. I don't know. He's of Spanish descent. He's fire. I was supposed to battle him a couple years back, too. A uh, uh, couple things went wrong. We didn't get to battle, but I, I was battling the dude for a reason. Shout out to my man, Jesse Rican. Emerson Kennedy versus City Towers. Uh, Well, City Towers got to make up for... Damn, it's crazy. The parallel universe. Danny Myers quits chokes versus uh real sick. <laughs> Didn't even wrap my third. Uh, City Towers not prepared for real sick. He got the phone out and all this, and it's not a good look. He wants to come back and and make up for that. So he's going to be... You just, I, you think, I think he's going to be prepared. I think he's going to be prepared. He's just, just not coming back against Emerson Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, that, and that's what I, I was about to get to. Like, even though what he did versus real sick was just definitely not his best day, obviously... Emerson Kennedy is one of the be- hey listen I'm the bar guy right <laughs> this man EK has been in my personal favorite for the last 10 years I know I, like, see, you, I see you say on Twitter yeah I've, I've always said it's like Rum Nitty Daylight EK Danger Zone Aver. those are like my personal favorite battle rappers I think, and EK is in there for I a think, reason I think EK is underrated. Um, I think people don't sh- show him the respect that he deserves. Maybe, maybe I, they I, don't, man. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is with He's EK. Too good, though. bro. People try to, you know, use him as a stepping stool. Like we've seen that with Eunice going against EK. Obviously, you know, we've seen City Towers last battle and he trying to re- make a rebound and doing it as EK is just the wrong person to do it against. I'm taking Emerson Kennedy, man. Uh, yeah, I got EK, man, for sure. Uh, yeah. All right. Next battle, we got Clone versus Death the Kid. Death the Kid got a crazy pin. I just. Man, that boy, listen, he fired. He's a man, first of all. I didn't want to say boy. Um, he's he's fire. I battled Death the Kid and I battled Clone. Uh standing in front of Clone is something different, bro. People could make fun of his like he got like this rhythmic uh delivery, and people often imitate it when they battle him, but that's still not changing the fact that he writing better stuff than you. So I got clone. Winning this battle, it's it, it's because the punches are gonna be there. The haymakers are gonna be there. I think Def Kid, Def the Kid, is gonna say some amazing quality penmanship, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get that. Uh, yeah, victory. yeah. I think I think what it is. I think Def the Kid is gonna be. It's gonna he he's gonna be Def the Kid with with the penmanship and the writing, uh, you know, with the cadence that he has, but. I think some of his bars is going to go over people's heads. I don't think people, the king of the dot crowd is going to gravitate that. Yeah. What it's going to do, they're going to gravitate that because they love punching. <laughs> and nobody, and Clone is one of them guys, when you talk about punching, yeah, he's, he's one sure. of the best ones in, in this culture today. I'm taking Clone in this battle. Yeah, I got Clone as well, 2-1. All right, so we got the only female battle that's on this card. Yoshi G. And Chirac, man. Jesus Christ. Good. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. I do feel like in Chirac's battled uh, 40 bars. She's battled 40. She's battled a lot of uh, good names. Um, But... <laughs> 
Yoshi G, man. Yoshi G just got all the ingredients. But I, I, I see this being an aggressive battle. I see them both kind of barking and being loud with their projection. Uh, I think Yoshi could perform better, though. I think she's a better performer, and that's going to stand out in that in that pit style. Even though we definitely, again, we're here for the raps. I think Yoshi's just going to just kind of outperform Chirac in a few different areas. Uh, and that's going to be the difference in this battle. I, I got I got Yoshi two one. I, I I like I like what Chirac's been doing this year though. Like she's 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 been outside. She's building up her resume, building off of what she did last year. Like she's one of the most consistent ones. You want to talk about workhorses in female battle rap? Chirac's a workhorse. You want to talk about female battle rapper that's outside? She's one of the right. most, like nobody right. outside like Chirac. So you could talk about. You know the Rock leads the J loves and all that. Chirac, she outside. But shout out to Chirac. But Chirac, she has been you know kind of shaky lately with her back. Little spotty, yeah, little you know, spotty it, here it, and there. Has, you know what I'm saying? Has it been completely clean through her battles? And I've been waiting to see this matchup with her and Yoshi G. Uh, it's the battle of the small girls because <laughs> they're both small and short. Um, yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi G. She she just always gets overlooked. She and I, I think people continue to talk down and disrespect her. I think Yoshi G. She got actually one of the best pens in female battle rap. Man, people just don't talk about it. People just say, "Oh, it was a ghost writer." But at the end of the day, Yoshi she, Yoshi can write and she could perform. Um, and I'm taking Yoshi G. In this battle. A Yoshi G's a veteran. People forgot about that. And I think Yoshi G right. is gonna I think Yoshi G is gonna show levels and she's she's gonna show the difference between a veteran and she's not a rookie, but a rookie, I guess you could say. But I'm right. taking, I'm taking Yoshi G in a two one battle, and I think is this is gonna be one of the better battles of the night. No, it's gonna be good. That's gonna be real good. All right, man. Let's move on over. To our next battle, and that is Real Sick versus Charlie Clips. That's fire battle. Um, you know, real uh, first of all, Real Sick has been on a crazy run, uh, almost boogeyman status at this point. Charlie Clips, one of the best MCs, one of the best battle rappers that we ever seen. Um can he has it? The thing is, Clips has the ability to beat pretty much anybody when he when he really wants to, for real. Um, real sick wants to win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. That be the difference. I'm not saying Clips don't want to win this battle, but when we talk about, I don't know, man. Consistency. I, I, I real sick just don't miss. You know what I'm saying? Some there's some battles where Clips might come with a, with two good rounds, may may not have a good third or whatever it is. Uh, real sick. Also, he's went through his his uh, he went through his bumps and bruises on the way to being what he is now. You know, notably the the K Shine battle. He, I think he, he learned he learned a lesson in that battle and came back stronger. Real and sick. now look now look at what he's doing. He look at what he's doing in these Boogie, rings, man. Boogie, man. I can't go against. I, you know, the thing is, you, you can't go against real sick. But it's like when you say, yeah, but it's Charlie Clips because Clips could beat anybody. Especially when he really want to, I the thing is I it, it's I hate when you have to question, you know, and 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 it's kind of been one of the things that dark clouds that have been following Charlie Clips for much of his career, but it's also kind of warranted because you kind of created this, but it's always well, what Charlie Clips are we gonna get? And 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 so when you when you're in that conundrum where it's like, yeah, Clips can beat anybody, but at the same time, I don't know which Clips is gonna show up. Yeah, that man. that be the thing. So you know, with <laughs> I gotta go with safe money, man, and that's real sick. If you, if I, I'm, I'm in a casino, I got down to my last five hundred. <coughs> I gotta put, I gotta put three hundred down on, on this battle. I mean, give me real sick two, two to one. <laughs> give me real sick two to one, and I'll give me my damn receipt. I'll be rooting for clips because clips, he, you know, he can be really entertaining, especially his first rounds. But real sick. Consistency has been crazy, man. Right. Damn. Have we agreed on every single battle, man? 
That's crazy. Yeah. We agree. We agree. Yoshi was gonna be Chirac. Yeah, uh, we agree. Real sick gonna gonna yeah, um we, Charlie agreed. we agreed on the whole day one card. Okay. Well, yeah, let's let's, see, let's see if this let's see if the streak continues. Oh. Frack versus John John the Don. You know, I I said it. I, I like I haven't really seen Frack. I don't know if he's got like a clear loss somewhere. Frack don't, don't be losing lose rap battles. <laughs> yeah, that, that he needs to wear that shirt. He needs to like he needs to come in there with a shirt that says Frack don't lose rap battles, man. Because he don't lose. Like he, I, he he even though he got the the judge loss versus Diz, a lot of people feel like he was robbed in that King of the Die tournament. You know, you you could say he probably undefeated. Uh, John John, one of the supreme strategists, superior my, my minds. His ring knowledge is very high. He's on like a ninety nine when it comes to battle rap IQ. Uh, Frack, super smart. This is the battle of the. This is the 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 lyrical chess match. John John be having some all star performances, man, and uh. Is is that is this, is this the one where we finally is, get? Is, is we're gonna though, finally see Frack lose a rap battle? It's like but the thing is though, has John John ever had an all star performance outside of the URL? Um, no, nope, all nope, star nope. performance. Nope. He's put up good numbers out. He's put up good numbers elsewhere, different leagues here and there. Um, recipe Pat Stay. I did see a one rounder where John John beat Pat Stay. And you know, Pat's one of those guys, recipes. Frack. He's one of those guys that don't Frack be losing is, battles either. So it's kind of like Frack is, just, Frack is just unorthodox. Uh, he's entertaining, he's charismatic, and um, he's Frack is good, man. He does a lot of good things as a battle rapper. And Frack don't even battle that much, but he's he already has his name buzzing out. Uh, this is tough to call, man. This is probably the toughest battle to call on his entire card. Uh, actually, this might be the toughest battle to pick a winner. You know that that the source of a war kind of tough, but this one tough. I you just I mean again when you betting safe money and you haven't seen somebody lose, it's like how do you pick against them? And then you say, well, maybe it's time for them to finally lose. Just uh, I, John John's <laughs> beatable, man. It's not like freaking these battling freaking. Geechee Gotti. Yeah, John John. Yeah, John John. John John can lose. You know, like John, um, John John has had questionable losses, so it's like it's not. I like, I, 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 I gotta go safe money, man. Go Fracavelli, man. For the frack, the, the frack, the Frackenstein might strike again, bro, and get the two one over John John. Yo, yo, I'm holding down for the West Coast, man, in the Bay Area, man. I'm going with Frack in this. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, salute, salute, salute two to one. that. Two, two one frack. Two man. one man over John John and Don. But again, yeah. this is very I don't know. We might need an actual scorecard for this one. But it, it, see, this one ain't gonna be one where it's like you need copy box it's, and then you're gonna count all the punches. Like this one is gonna be a who had the better strategy, and that's kind of subjective sometimes. Like, how do you choose one strategy exactly. over another? It's actually who has the better angle. <laughs> yeah, again, again, that's what I was talking about. Like, who who got the better strategy? Like, who's going into this battle trying to outsmart the other one? And I just, uh, all right, I got frack, man. I got frack too. So we agreed on every single battle that's been on this card from day one to what we're at day two. But before we go to the main event, we got Daddy Myers versus Elijah Straight. Bar God, man. You know, Bar God is just man. I, I to be real, I gotta stop being humble all the time because I, yeah, I, I do man. I do be I do be humble, that? but a lot of this shit these niggas doing today, I, I was doing this shit 2013, 2014, 2015, and they was calling me corny and oh he's just yelling loud oh. and he's he just running around the stage, oh, jumping on stage, and he's screaming. Daddy. But now, fast forward, when I was doing all the ah, throwing the hat, now, fast forward, all these niggas is doing it. Look at King. Mm. Look at Twerk. 
Look at uh, all all the battle rappers when they when when those punches are landing, 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 and then they just be like, Aah! "Who started that shit?" I started it. They called me corny when I was doing it. I've been doing this shit. Uh, what Elijah Straight brings to the table is, is a lot of dope, unique punches. Um, nothing too much more outside of that that I could really give him high praises for. I think he is still in the learning stages of his battle rap career. And I do feel like he's going to come with three crazy rounds of punches. And he might try to do something different. He might have an angle for me. He might got jokes. I don't know what he's going to do. I, I don't what, care either. What, what, what's your approach? I don't care. What's your approach in this battle? Are you going to be punching more or? Yeah, I'm uh, this punchline, Danny. I don't really got no. I don't got to be metaphor heavy. I don't got to be the metaphor messiah this battle. I'm just going to be punch, punch Danny. And, and, oh, and, and, and got to remind people. I, I really like, bro. Me and Rum Nitty, like I always compare me and Nitty to like Ryu and Ken, bro, from Street Fighter. Like it was like a lot of similarities, a little subtle, subtle differences, but a lot of similarities. Like a lot of the times, bro, I I I, I kind of backed off of the punching because you know I wanted to showcase that I could do other stuff. And then when when people start saying, "Yo, Nitty might be on his way to being a," The go puncher, I really back down off of the punching. Like, nah, man, that's my brother lane. Like, we ain't finna keep going back and forth about you know. But you know, with this battle, I get to kind of return to form they, and they sing, and just be punchline Danny again. They saying they saying Elijah is the two point oh rum nitty. You, you you worried about that? Wait, well, first of all, to be a two, first of all, to be a 2.0, first of all, here, let me break that down real quick. Or we move on to the main event. To be Nitty 2.0, I mean, you got to be better than the original version, which is Rum Nitty. You I mean you got to be better than Nitty. You're definitely not better than Rum Nitty. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and by the way, I battled the real Rum Nitty two times already, two, twice, six rounds. So, uh, to get the diet Rum Nitty, it's like, Bro, you're not doing wow, that. Long. The I diet rub nitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, absolutely. Do, do, you, do you think Eliza Strait's taking this battle too early against you? Like, you think he should have had a couple more battles before? Well, I, he made a great point. Uh, when we were doing our face off, he was like, "Cause I, I felt like, yeah, bro, like I, I, I I'm not really into doing too many more, like giving out shots, and I still got a couple more shots that I'm gonna give out, but." That's kind of getting played out to me now. It's like, give me, give me all the legends from going forward, be, be, you know, before I retire from this shit. But uh, he made a point. He said, "Well, hey, bro, you battled less pe people with a less name than me." He said, "You go to these leagues that I never heard of, and you battling some guy I never heard of. Why? What's wrong with battling me?" And he's right. And so he, there you go. You got you're you're gonna get the battle that you asked for. You wanted Danny Myers. Okay, now let's see so, what you made of. So let's um, see what you like. Let's go. Let, you want to do the bar shit? Me, let's do the bar shit. So you told me um, I love this bar shit. I'm the fucking bar guy. So, so, you, told, so you told me off the air. You said that your 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 energy is different for Elijah Straight. Yeah, because it's not a it's not a friendly battle. It's not like two homeboys like just going around. Like this is real battle rap rivalry. So it is what it is. Yeah, so I'm okay. winning. I'm winning. I write three rounds to win three rounds. That's it. That I ain't got nothing else to say about it. Uh, y'all tune in, turn on your pay per view, get your popcorn and whatever now, your beverages, and and me, watch the bar guy go to work. Um, my my opinion on this battle, um, I think is disrespectful. <laughs> uh, dumb booking, Daddy Myers against Elijah Straight. I thought it yeah. was somebody else, especially yeah. Danny returning. Yeah, um, I, I feel like I feel like my I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna say this. Um shout out to Kenny, Kenny TBL. But I, you know, I know real deal's name came across my desk first, and that's that made sense. You know what I'm saying? Like Danny Myers versus Real Deal. Um if for whatever reason, something happened behind the scenes, business wise, and we couldn't make that happen. Was it my fault? It wasn't my fault. I was ready. I was already putting bars together for real deal. He called me back, said we can't do the real deal battle. 
And the only other thing I can offer you, honestly, is, uh, you know, Elijah straight. So it's like, take it or leave it. And I'm like, man, uh, fuck it. It's a big card. It's a big card. And Kenny Black has done favors for me inside and outside of battle rap. He's done so much for me. So there was no way I was going to tell my homeboy no. When he asked me, he asked me to do this. He's like, you know, do. It. And I said, yeah, I took low money for this. I took low money for this. It's like, and, and so, uh, I, but I'm a competitor. I'm not making no excuses for this battle. I'm a competitor. I, but yeah. when you say, when you say disrespectful, it may appear that way. Um, I will say it, it it's not necessarily the, the fault. Dude, the culture wants you to, wants to see you battle. You know, the yeah, cow yeah, goes, yeah, the yeah, fact, facts, and that would have been perfect for this card. Danny Myers versus Calico on this card, like they, they wouldn't, they, the, you know, they, they want to see you battle those, so you know, that's I think that's why some, you know, yeah, they're, and, they're, and they're, honestly, and to be bad. honest with the, to be honest, that's why, uh, honestly, like my enthusiasm for this particular battle isn't like high up there, like. Oh my god, yeah. I get the battle lines straight. I'm happy. Like, no, I'm not happy with that. Like, I'm just all right, man. This is what I got. This is what I got. All right, it is what it is. Let me just go in here and yeah, do my job yeah, and I, get out of yeah, here. I think, I think that I think that's that's what it is at the end of the day. But as far as this battle goes, I just think that it, it it's gonna be I think Elijah's overmatch in this battle. Um I just don't think there's nothing that Elijah straight can do. That's better than uh, Danny Myers. Um, I'm not just saying that because Danny's my friend. I'm not saying because we do the same show. I'm saying that because I just don't see it. Um, I don't think Elijah raps better than him. I don't no, think, no. <clears throat> I don't think Elijah uh, punches better than him. I don't think Elijah performs better than him. Um, I don't think Elijah angles better than him. Um, I like but again, I, I will like say, Kobe. I will say, and I agree with you. I don't think he does nothing better than me. Nothing, I nothing will, like zero. Well, when Daddy, hits I, I don't think he does puddles. nothing better than me. So yeah, man, I, I feel like this though. It's gonna go crazy. I feel like this though. We always, for the most part, when I battle somebody, they put up a career game. Like, I feel like Elijah's going to go crazy in his battle because it's me and he wants to prove a point because he probably hearing all the, I got Danny winning, Danny's supposed to win, blah, blah, blah. So he's t using all that as fuel to say, all right, y'all got me fucked up. All right, let me go show y'all something. And, and so he's going to go crazy. But again, but, then, but if again, I'm, though, but if I'm you, but if I'm you, I, in my mind, I'm saying, yo, you got me fucked up putting me against Elijah straight. Are you serious? Watch yeah. what I do to him. Yeah, that, gotta that's, make that's, examples, man. But I got you gotta I make got, examples. I got Danny winning three zero all three rounds. Yeah, I, I just said it. 3 0 30 ball, man. 30 all world. Right, let's finally get to the main event. Big K and Tay Rock is finally happening. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Tay Rock debuts. That's crazy. Tay Rock gets a debut on King of the Dot, and he's the main event. Tay Rock and Big Tay K, Rock debut on King of the Dot has been highly anticipated for years. This battle itself has been highly anticipated. I do feel like both both of the MCs are like at the top of the list when it comes to delivery. Like Rock's delivery is probably the best in battle rap. Um, to me, um, Big K has a very very good vocal projection and a very serious tone to his 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 voice when he's dead serious and he's gonna be he gonna be barking on Tay Rock. Um, I, I however I think when it just comes to the overall rapping ability, Rock can get into those rhyme patterns and he you got he's got so many legendary haymakers. He's got the seatbelt won't buckle up. He's got the what the fuck was that? He's got so many. Uh, you my brother. I can't watch you die, so I turn my head. He's got so many quotables. It, it, and, and besides, it's, it's his King of the Dot debut. He's he's kind of like the the number one guy right now. If you talk about Cody, there's a win here, or or even just a great performance here, uh, further solidifies his status within that Cody um um nomination. And he's gonna give it his all. He's not gonna take this battle lightly. I seen him on Twitter saying, "I am so ready to rap. I am clipped up." 
And when he's talking like that, it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's like okay, it's an ominous sign. Like you about to get a really good Tay Rock. <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. I got Tay Rock winning this battle two one close battle. Not a not no nobody's gonna get bodied. I do have a close battle. Rip Rock winning. Um, is this battle of the night? Can it be battle of the year? Uh, well, I mean they are the main event, so they're pretty much expected to be battle of the night for the most part on paper. You know what I predict? <laughs> I got Rock winning, man. I predict there's gonna be. A fight in the beginning of the battle, and they're gonna find a way to finish this battle. I think just the the hostility, the energy in this battle, going to a main event like this, it's it it it's it is very high right now. And I don't people, I I don't think people realize how that that, that that's but that's the mental part of battle rap. When you got a grudge match, it's really about the the person that could keep their emotions. Under control, and, keep and your you, composure and do your job. The scary part of this is that Big K is he's he's been very quiet. <laughs> uh, Big K been locking in, bro. I feel like he's been in the dungeon too, bro. Yeah, so I don't K's know how quiet, this going. With Big K, he's quiet. He's not on social media. He's very scary to deal. Feel with. like yeah, you feel like he's focused. Yeah, I think this is gonna be one of the man, one of the best battles of the year, man. Well, think, oh, is this okay? So who you got? Ah, oh, man, I'm going with Tay Rock in this battle, man. I think Tay Rock. If Tay Rock wins this battle, champion of the year, it's over, man. Like, there's nothing yeah, more yeah. you can say about that because. You yeah, could say whatever Rock had, you could say Rock lost battles. He beat the current champion of the year. <laughs> yeah, if he beat if he beat the current champion, that's gonna give him the belt for sure. Yeah. Um. I. I, I, I so damn. So one thing I noticed that we agreed on every single battle. I don't think that's ever happened. <laughs> I think the whole time we've been doing this show, we've never had a show where we agree on. Every single battle, and considering the fact this is a yeah. two, this is a two day. This is listen. This is two separate events in one, and we agreed on every single battle. What's crazy is I haven't talked to Danny all week because Danny's been you know busy locking in for his what, two battles. What, but what if we are wrong on every single battle? Like what if like I like what we say? So we're wrong. So we're predictions wrong. are one thing, recaps are another. Like what if? All the battles yeah, wind right. up being the other way. Yeah, right. that's the parallel yeah, look, universe, shit, bro. Right. I guess Elijah Straight's gonna beat you, right? Hey, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if every battle we pick to win loses? Like, what yeah, if Forty beats the wrong? What if Forty beats wrong? What if the Source beats A War? Right. What if the City Towers beats Emerson Kennedy? What if? You know, last straight beat Danny Myers. XL beats I, Trez. Dude, I haven't, I haven't talked up to Danny about these battles at all. Like, I remember we did a blog on about, we gave our reactions to it, but we haven't talked about this battle of who's gonna win what. Like, that's crazy though. We basically call this card a ten. We, we basically it got the first ever ten rating, and it got, and we agreed on every single battle. So there's definitely something special about this yeah, massacre team. six, bro. Shout yeah, out to the Kaya yeah. Osborne too, by the way. One well, of the first well, investors well, in this whole massacre series. Well, let's see if we agree on the battle of the night. On oh, on what day? I mean, I mean the battle of the weekend. I guess you could say it. It, you, it can't. You, you can't predict that because when you look at all these battles, you can only go. What's the battle on day? What's the battle of the day on day one? What's the battle of the the day on day two? So with 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 me looking at day two, I do feel like me and a lot of straight gonna be a dope ass bar fest. Um, but I do like I like John John and Frack, bro. I like John John and Frack a lot, bro. But I think the like the heavyweight tension that Big K and Tay Rock has, I think exactly. it's gonna be difficult for it. I feel like it's gonna be any it's difficult for any battle to outshine Big K and Tay Rock as far yeah. as battle of the night on day two. Big K and Tay Rock is a battle of the night. Then so we go to day one. 
I I like I, I like that pass I like that pass and twerk battle, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But then again, you got you got real deal and Mike P. Then you got A Ward and the source. Uh, I still got pass and twerk. Yeah, I'm I sorry. Like, I, I, did, I, did, I did, just I'm pass looking pass at it from an uh, anticipation standpoint. I'm that's just the one I'm the most hyped and animated to see. So that's in my mind battle of the night on day one. Big K, Tay Rock. Performer of the weekend. Performer of the weekend could easily be twerk. I ain't gonna lie. Could be twerk. Could be Danny Myers. You know, shit. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna count myself. You, you also got a uh, Geechee and Marv one. Uh, the performer of the weekend is gonna be whoever wins Big K and, and Tay Rock. Not necessarily, cause they, cause, cause, cause that, that obviously might I have agree. it. That might have a, a, a clear. Let's say a clear. Let's say Tayrock win clear, right? That still don't mean he outperformed Twerk. Well, what Twerk well, is going to do, or even I, pass. I normally go off of this. Whoever I have the battle of the night, that's who okay. I have for the performer. as performer. Of the, okay, I got you. All okay. right, man. Well, well, if we finally disagree on something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, because I feel like I don't know, bro. That's t that's tough. I, I mean, no. Well, wait. What was your battle? What was your battle of the day one? Uh, battle of day one is twerk and pass. So we agreed on on those. So we agreed on Big K and Tay Rock, and we agreed on twerk and pass, but we disagree on the battle lure of the weekend. Yeah, it's dog. Uh,